Hello. In this tutorial I will show you how to prepare a file for translation using Swordfish Translation Editor. Swordfish Translation Editor uses the XLIF format for all translations. So first we need to convert our original file into this XLIF format. Swordfish will create a separate XLIF file, so don't worry, you're not changing your original file in any way. OK, let's begin. Go to the File menu and select Convert File to XLIF Format. A dialog box will appear containing all the options that we need to manage the conversion process. We're not going to deal with all these options, I'm simply going to show you the very basic options that you need to start a document in Swordfish. First we need to choose our original document, the source document which we're going to translate. We choose that from this box here. Press Browse, navigate to your file that you're going to, to translate. In this particular case I'm using a, a, a rich text format file called Test which is here. I select it. Automatically the XLIF file name is created. Now it will by default create the same name file with the extension XLF on the end in the same directory. In my case it's on my desktop. Moving on, source file properties. These are automatically filled in by Swordfish when it recognizes the file type. Uh, in this case it's correctly recognized it as rich text format uh, and we don't need to worry about it. On certain occasions you might need to specifically tell Swordfish what file type to use but as a rule Swordfish can detect them automatically. Language. This option is automa automatically filled in by Swordfish based on the last file we translated. My last f translation file was a, tra was a file from Polish into English and so it's defaulted to Polish. But you can choose any other language you want as your source language. Character set. Because Swordfish can translate a whole range of different file types, occasionally you will need to, def you will need to uh, specify exactly what encoding has been used for uh, a particular file. On the whole, Swordfish can recognize this by itself, but occasionally it needs to be specified. In this particular case, it's blanked out because Swordfish has recognized the file type at the encoding uh, character set and won't allow us to change it. Conversion options. None of these we will deal with right now. They're more advanced options and aren't necessary for a basic file. Segmentation options. This should be left as the default SRX. All this says is that we're going to use the ordinary rules, the default rules, for breaking our text into manageable pieces to translate. That's called segmentation. Uh, in for more advanced uses, you can actually change these rules and uh, improve or adjust them depending on your requirements. But for 95% of documents, you won't need to touch this. Translation options. Because I'm assuming you're a newbie, uh, we won't deal with any reference TM databases, we won't set any project details, and we won't uh, therefore have to deal with any of these particular aspects here. Apart from target language. Now, target language will be asked when we've completed this uh, when we filled out all these file conversion options. The last option here is open XLIF file after conversion. Well I am assuming that we're going to work on the file immediately so I leave that marked. Okay, F for a simple conversion that's all we need to do. Now all I press is convert file to XLIF. The file is converted, tells me so, I press OK and now Swordfish will ask for the translation language. That's the language we're going to translate into. There, again, there's a whole range of languages I can choose from. I'm not going to show all of them. They don't even fit on my screen, but I can browse up and down through them. But I'm going to choose English for this example. I press Accept. Conversion finished. The file is loaded up automatically into Swordfish. And you can see here it says Test RTF XLF. And I have finished my document, uh, converting my document to XLIF format. I hope that's been of help. If you have any ideas that uh, could help me improve on these tutorials, or, uh, then please put them in the comments and I'll uh, redo the video if necessary.